Hey, this is Jamie from GarageSaleCoach.com, and here's another one of my Garage Sale Find videos. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Hmm? And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. Hey everybody, um, just had a large uh, community garage sale this past weekend and I just wanted to kind of go through and show some of the things that I bought. Um, this sale is just huge. It, this neighborhood has, I don't know, a couple thousand houses. Um, and they also always put together a list of all the things that are each house. So I kind of went through the list and, and looked at some of the things that had, some of the houses that had things that I liked. And so I made sure I hit those early. Um, a couple of them were strikeouts, but one of them said that they had Nintendo games. And um, I ended up buying like three boxes of different Nintendo stuff, and I'll go through that here in just a second. Um, I kind of had to wait for them to come outside, and anyway, I'll tell you that story in a second. But let me just start out going through some of the uh, finds that I got this weekend. Um, one of the first sales I went to, I got a couple um, Nintendo DS lights. Um, they wanted, I don't know, like 20 bucks a piece on them. They're only worth about $35 on Amazon each, so I offered her $30 for the pair. Um, so anyway, I'll make about 30 bucks on these, but they're in great shape, no scratches or anything. They were adult owned, um, so those will do pretty good. Um, also picked up this a little bit later in the morning. It's a um, it's a Pioneer DVD GPS um, car car stereo, and it actually comes out and puts the face here. Um, he wanted 30 bucks on it, and um, I asked him about it. Usually on things like this, a lot of times they're broken, and you don't know how to to test them out. So I asked him, and he said he just didn't like how the face plate kind of stuck out and wasn't flush with the um, I guess with the car, uh, with the, the dashboard. So anyway, that's usually a, a good reason why to get rid of it. Um, sometimes, you know, I always check to see what people's reasons are to know if, if it's broken or not. So I'm gonna just trust that this one's working and sell it on eBay. It's, I paid about, I paid 25, he was asking 30. I'll be able to sell it probably for around 200 bucks. Um, also bought a, a Sony uh, Mini DV, I think. Actually, it's a, it's a DCR HC21. I think it actually is a digital um, camcorder. It's only worth about 50 bucks, but I paid um, 10 bucks for it. So I'll sell it on eBay. I have the have the bag and the and the charger and all that kind of stuff. So you always want to make sure you have the charger and charge it up and test it before you sell it. Um, went to this one sale. I had some broken stuff. This is a, a Lenovo um, netbook. And he said, is it sold $2 for parts? And I asked him about it, and he said that he took the hard drive out, and sometimes it would overheat. But um, the screen still works, and there's probably RAM in here and all that kind of stuff. But for 2 bucks, I figured I could do something with it. So uh, I'll probably sell it on eBay for around 35 bucks for parts. Um, he also had this um, little Sony um, wireless station. It's, um, it's for a PSP. I didn't know what it was, but it said a dollar on it, so I said, I'll get it. So I looked it up on eBay. Um, and it sells um, for about 20 bucks, so I'll be able to make something on that. Um, picked up a Pokemon Pearl um, DS game. It sells for about $22, and I actually paid 10 bucks for it, but it's easy to put on Amazon and just throw it in an envelope, so I'll make 10 bucks on that real easy. Um, somebody had this PS1. It's the, it's the small one, and these small PS1s, you can actually just sell these without the um, controllers or without anything else. I'll sell this just like this for about $22, $23. I think I paid a dollar for it. Uh, I do have the power cord and video cable, so I might test it and make sure it reads a game before I send it, but sometimes, you know, I might just send it. If somebody complains, I'll just give them a full refund. Just kind of take that risk. Same person had a few Wii games, and I kind of looked through um, like two or three of them, and this one was worth, um, I think, 10 to 12 bucks. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but um, they only wanted, I think, a dollar or two bucks on this one. So um, I got a PS3 game. I looked through a couple PS3 games, and this one was actually worth something. I think it's worth a little bit more than ten bucks. I paid a paid like two dollars for that one. Somebody had the Sopranos season six part one still sealed. Uh, they were asking ten bucks on it. 
Um, but I offered them five. We ended up paying six for it. And I think it's worth um, like $18, $18 or something like that on Amazon. Um, a Jawbone Icon uh, Bluetooth. I um, think they have $15 on this. And I think it's worth like 25 or so. Um, so I asked them if they would take 10 And she thought about it. And she said, um, uh, how about 7 so I just paid seven. I don't know why she said seven. Maybe she thought I said two, but seven dollars for that. So I'll make about fifteen on that. Um, a couple toys here. These are these laser tag um, Hasbro laser tag guns, and um, if you sell them in the pair, you can usually get about you know about thirty dollars for the pair. Um, usually they have these um, these headsets that have a, a cable that goes down with it, but they only have one headset. And I don't have the cable that connects it, so. I won't even sell it with this headset. I'll just sell uh, the pair like this because you can actually play with just the guns. And I'll sell this pair on eBay probably for around like 30 bucks. And she only wanted, I think, $2 for them. So I uh, picked up this, um, this, it's a tripod, but it's a monopod. And it's, uh, it says Manfrotto. It's a 679B. Um, she was asking $5. I paid 3 I was thinking I'd actually use it for me. But then when I looked it up on, on Amazon, I saw that the cheapest one used was $50, and they were like 55 new. So it doesn't even look like it's ever been used. It's like completely mint condition. So maybe I can get about 30 or 40 bucks out of it. And it'll, it'll ship in the priority mail. They have like two boxes that you can order online, and the weight of it is only like two pounds. So it'll ship pretty cheap, about maybe seven or eight bucks. And I also got this um, Sirius Satellite um, portable radio set. It's a little portable one like this, has the remote and has all the other stuff. Uh, but I think it's a SL2. And the cheapest one on eBay, let me see what model this is. I mean, the cheapest one on Amazon, yes, an SL2. The cheapest one on Amazon was like, I don't know, like 150 bucks. I don't know if it's worth that much, but I have had some of these in the past that are definitely worth closer to 100. But um, I think she was asking 45 on it, but it was towards the end of the day. So I think I only paid like 35 for it. So that'll still be an easy 50, 60 bucks in profit, if not more. We'll see how much it goes for. Um, these were pretty cool. They're um, pet safe um, collars uh, for cats, but they can also be used for smaller dogs for the wireless fence system. And a lot of times I'll pick these up and I'll sell the collars for like 80 bucks and pick them up for like five bucks. Anyway, I paid um, five dollars for the pair. They had three dollars on each. Uh, one of them powers on, the other one doesn't. So I picked up a I went ahead and picked up two batteries so they'll both have brand new batteries when I sell them and they look to be in brand new condition so I'll probably put each one of them on eBay for about 60 bucks so that's 120 bucks right there and I only paid five dollars now the batteries were like 17 um, but so I'll still end up making you know about 80 bucks after fees and all that kind of stuff this is a um, it's a Don Joy bone growth stimulator um, they only wanted two dollars on it and I'll show you. Actually, is here. They only wanted two dollars on it, and I know it's worth a lot more than that. These things are expensive. The only problem is, is you can't sell them on on eBay because it's a medical device, and you have to have some kind of license or something, and it could really affect your eBay account. So don't sell stuff like this. I put that in my book. Don't sell stuff like this on eBay, and sometimes even Amazon. I don't think they even list it, but these bone growth, bone growth stimulators, I think, are kind of. Um, I don't know the word for it, but they're. Some people don't believe that they work or don't work, so they're hard to sell, but it's an OL-1000. I did see one sell on eBay for like 60 or 70 bucks. Uh, I'll just put mine on Craigslist for like 40 bucks, but I figure for two bucks, it's worth a shot. All right, so I got a, several other things, but before I get to some of the other things, I'm going to get to the good stuff. Um, early in the morning, um, one person had Nintendo games, and I had gone by their house at like maybe like 7.05. They weren't out yet, so then I went back by about 7.25. They weren't out yet. Um, and I went back by about 7.40 and I saw a couple people out there moving their car. So I asked them if they were, had Nintendo games because I saw that on the list of the garage sale stuff. And they said, yeah, we'll be, we'll be ready in about 15 minutes. And then I basically tried to see if I could just buy everything that they had because I told them I'd buy Nintendo stuff. Um, so he said, well, let me get my husband. And he came out. So they actually opened the garage up. And um, they said that somebody had already bought the Super Nintendo stuff. So maybe somebody they know or something. But they still had um, Nintendo 64, GameCube and Game Boy. So anyway, I'm going to go through that stuff now. When it was all said and done, I'm going to ask them how much they take for everything. They said they take 175. I tried to get them at 125. We finally agreed on 140. 
And I knew I was not taking a risk that was kind of cutting into my profit, but I knew there was more than that. But it wasn't until I calculated it up later, I realized I did pretty good on it. So let's go through it real quick. All right, so um, just the GameCube itself. I'll sell this on Amazon without any cords or anything like that. I'll sell it on Amazon for $25 with $4 shipping. I put it in a medium flat rate box. When it's all said and done, I'll make about 15 bucks on that after shipping and fees. Um, uh, the Super Game Boy, I don't know why that was in there, but that's worth about $10 itself um, on eBay. And there was four controllers with it. Um, each one of the controllers sells for about $12, to 14, 12 or $13 on eBay. Actually, one of them's not um, not Nintendo brand, so that won't be worth as much, but the Nintendo brand ones. Uh, I'll, I'll make $10 on each one of those, so that's, that's $30 bucks right there just in controllers. Um, the power and video cables that came with it, I can actually put these on e on eBay as a as a set for like twelve or thirteen dollars and pay five dollars to ship it, so I still get six seven dollars out of those. Uh, this Resident Evil Four game was in there. Uh, some of the Resident Evil games are worth like thirty bucks. I'm not sure how much this one is, so I'm just gonna guess maybe it's around ten or more. But then there was this little little case right here that actually had um, several games in it. And when I kind of flipped through it before, I didn't realize I'm like, okay, Star Wars. Um, Metroid, let me come over there and show some of these games. I uh, had Metroid and Mario Baseball and all that kind of stuff. Um, Super Monkey Ball, another Star Wars, another Metroid. I think that Metroid right there is worth like 10. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Madden. They weren't so great, but then when I came home, Soul Calibur 2, when I came home I looked and there was actually, I thought there was some more in here. And some of the games behind, uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, I think that one's like a $30 to $40 game. Uh, let's see, we got Metroid Prime Echoes, that might be at least a $10 or $15 game. Mario Party 4, that's probably a $25 to $30 game. Uh, the Super Mario Baseball is probably about $10. Let's see if we have anything else behind. Um, oh yeah, this, this Zelda Wind Waker game, probably looking at maybe $40 on that game. Um, Lord of the Rings, Soul Calibur 2. All-Star Baseball, that's worth nothing. Sports games aren't really worth that much. Um, Star Fox Adventures, that's worth maybe, I think, 8 to $10. These are all just kind of off the top of my head, but um, Star Wars Jedi Quest and then Crazy Taxi, not really anything that great, but just on that little container right there um, was, I didn't really calculate it, but it was well over 100 bucks in, in games in there and some of the valuable ones. So that was the GameCube stuff. Now Nintendo 64 stuff. Um, just the system right here, I'll put that on on Amazon for like $25.99 with a $3.99 shipping. I'll ship it in a padded flat rate envelope, I'll double bag it. Um, so I'll make about 20 bucks on that. I'll take out this, this red expansion pack on the inside. This red expansion pack um, is kind of an extra thing. Most of them have one with a little purple sticker, it's not worth anything. But the expansion pack is worth about $19 to $21 on Amazon. So I'll sell that for like 20 bucks and put that, you know, ship that real cheap. Um, I'll, I'll probably put another jumper pack in here so that it works because it won't work without a jumper pack but a lot of times I sell it without without even a jumper pack and just tell them it doesn't come with any cables, any controllers, no jumper pack but then I started finding out people didn't know about the jumper pack and they say hey it doesn't work so I'll put one in there so that at least when they plug in the power to it it actually does turn on and work. Um, the controllers with the Nintendo 64 are just the same. Um, they'll sell for you know about 12 uh, bucks a piece as well, so that's ten bucks profit on each one of those. Uh, same thing with the power and video cables. I can probably sell those about twelve bucks on eBay and uh, make a little something on those. And there wasn't a ton of games with with the Nintendo 64, but Nintendo 64 games can be pretty valuable. So I got Mario Kart 64, which this one's probably worth about. Um, it ranges from about twenty-five to thirty-one dollars. I got Super Mario 64, so it ranges from about seventeen to twenty dollars. Um, I got Bomberman 64. I think this one's probably about a $12 or $14 game. Uh, Pokemon Snap, not so good. I'll put that with a lot. It's worth like a five bucks. And then I got Banjo Kazooie. Uh, this game is worth about maybe about 12 bucks. Um, so that was all on Nintendo 64 stuff. But that, once again, that's you know more profit. I didn't really calculate it up in my head there, but probably at least another hundred bucks on that stuff. And then the last box. Alright, oh, some more Nintendo 64 games in this one. Um, 
These ones are actually all come in their boxes. So with the box, they're worth a lot more. Um, some of these aren't really popular games, but I'll sell them as a lot. Um, but the box with the manual and all that kind of stuff, they always sell for about 50% more um, than what their real price is. So uh, that's Gex 64. That's Mario Tennis with the, with the box, maybe worth about 20 bucks. Um, just another sports game with the box, not worth so much. I'll put it in a lot. Uh, this is Zelda with the box. I'm probably looking at about 40 bucks on that. And this Donkey Kong 64 with a box, probably looking at at least 25 to 30 bucks on that. Uh, I just sometimes I don't even want to deal with the boxes because then I got to take pictures and list it. And I, sometimes I just enjoy putting it on Amazon real fast and ship, shipping it real fast. Um, there was another um, GameCube game. This Animal Crossing GameCube game I think is still worth about 20 to 25 bucks, right there. Um, some some Wii games were in here. This Mario Party game I think it's like 10 bucks. Um, just a couple other Wii games, not not so good. I probably saw that whole lot for about seven or eight bucks. Got Ultimate Alliance, Splinter Cell, and a, and a NBA game. Then I had some um, Game Boy Advance games. All of these games um, are in their original box. Um, Sims Busting Out, WarioWare Inc., um, Spyro, Season of the Flame, uh, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Game Boy Color game, Pokemon Pinball, and Top Gear Pocket. Uh, I'll probably sell all these as a lot as well. Um, people collect the ones with the with the boxes. There was a Game Boy um, game here, Donkey Kong Land. I would guess that's probably worth about five or six bucks. Uh, there was a Super Mario or a Mario Kart Game Boy game here, uh, and that one I think is worth about seven or eight bucks. And then. A Game Boy System, which I didn't even take this out when I, when I was there. Okay, it's the Glacier one. Um, it's got a it's got a link cable for the GameCube. That link cable I think is worth something too. Uh, but the Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance Glacier, this one will be worth about 20 bucks. Um, so I'll put that one on Amazon as well. So altogether, uh, I paid 140 on it. When I calculated it up in my head just before doing this video, I was looking at around like 400 bucks. So. Uh, it was kind of worth grabbing that stuff early. Do a little bit of work, but not too bad because most of this stuff I'll just put right on Amazon, put it in padded envelopes, and ship it first class mail, and it'll be be an easy deal. All right, a few more of the big items that I had gotten. Let me grab them. Uh, I got a P90X. They said it was actually brand new in this box. Um, it comes with the uh, it comes with the, the manual and the DVDs. Um, yeah, it's not actually brand new. Uh, the DVDs don't have the plastic on them, so I'll have to sell it as used. But um, I, I do better with a buy it now on these. I'll put them on eBay with the manual, ship it in this box that it came in. I'll probably get about maybe like 70 bucks on it. So I paid 20. So that's a after shipping, that's about a 40 dollar profit on that. Um, later in the day, um, somebody had a couple of things sitting in the back of their truck at their garage sale with a bunch of housewares. Uh, the sling box they wanted 10 bucks on. It sells for about 40 bucks on Amazon. And then this um, DVD player. I find that the DVD players, uh, especially the 9 inch ones that are a little bit better, um, sell pretty good on Amazon. Usually between 50 and 70 dollars sometimes if it's a if it's a good one. Um, so I think this one will be all right. And he wanted 20 on it. I think I paid 25 for the pair. Um, so you know that'll be an easy. At least 50, 50 to 60 dollar profit on those two items. Uh, I picked up a lot of um, business. I picked up three business phones. I don't normally buy these, but um, I paid ten dollars for the pair of these. They were asking ten dollars each, um, and each one of these sell on Amazon for I think 40 bucks per phone. Now these two were missing the power cable, so I got to see if I can find a power cable. Um, and then one other person had a another business phone that sells for probably 40 or 50 bucks, and they wanted a dollar on it. And this one actually had a power cable, so I can test out the other phones uh, without their power cables and see how much they're worth. Uh, I picked up another pool cleaner. I only paid five dollars for it. Um, I tested I tested the wheels and stuff. It seemed to be seemed to be moving like it was supposed to move. I'll, I'll hook it up to the pool here and see if it's working. If it's, I'll probably put it on. Um, Craigslist for like 40 bucks, but that's $35 profit on that. I got a, um, a Cricut um, scrapbooking machine, 
and uh, not only was it this machine, but it had a bunch of um, different cartridges inside. Sometimes you can sell these cartridges for 10 to 20 bucks each on Amazon, and there's there's a few of them in there. And I paid, I think, 35 for the machine. Um, Amazon, I think it sells for uh, in the 90 to 100 dollar range new or used, but um, it's going to be a little bit heavy to ship. So I'll try to sell it locally here for maybe like 70 bucks, and then take the cartridges and put them on Amazon, uh, but possibly make you know 70 or 80 bucks on that. Um, I got this Dewalt um, worksite radio. It's also a battery charger, and um, a lot of these things are actually pretty expensive. I'll be able to put this on. Um, Craigslist and sell it for about 45 to 50 bucks um, even if even though it does look like it's all spray painted and it actually works I tested it out and it has a, an auxiliary input on the inside this guy had a bunch of DeWalt stuff he was just trying to get rid of stuff cheap so um, he wanted $40 for all of it and I asked him if he'd just sell the radio so I paid 10 for the radio but then he was trying to get me to buy the other stuff and um, I ended up paying $20 more for all the other stuff and there was a drill um, a saw, two chargers, um, a couple of uh, reciprocating saw, and then something else. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll show a picture here so you can see the picture on the video, but um, all those items I should be able to sell them. I can even take them to a pawn shop. I'll see if they go on Amazon. I know the chargers, I usually put the chargers on Amazon for about $20 a piece and then ship them in a padded flat rate envelope. And um, all the other stuff, I might just try to put it on Craigslist and I can't imagine I, I shouldn't be able to get $25 a piece for them. It's, they're all 18 volt. Uh, the battery he had wasn't do, working too well, but it still had enough power for me to test that everything was working. But that's usually what you'll find is you buy them, but the batteries aren't any good. But I'll usually just sell the tools themselves without batteries because the batteries are pretty expensive. So that would be just on those tools, another 100 bucks, and then another 40 there. So probably make 100 bucks on all the DeWalt stuff. Um, and then a couple other things that I got uh, that were too big to bring inside. Uh, I bought a couple um, E300 Razor scooters. Um, I paid $75 for the pair. I could probably get $75 each for them because I tested the batteries and they're working good. But I think we're going to just enjoy those. Uh, I rode around the neighborhood with one of my kids the other day and it was kind of fun. So we'll enjoy those for a while before I sell them if we do sell them. Um, I bought a couple car BMW car covers that were brand new in the box and they had the printout from the website that they came from. Um, and they're actually sold for $219 each. Now, I doubt I'm going to be able to get that kind of money for them, but I ended up paying $10 each. They said that their, he said his father-in-law bought them, and then he accidentally bought two of them, and he wasn't very good at buying things online, so kind of had a good story, but they were still sealed in their boxes and had the picture and the model and all that kind of stuff. So I'll probably put those on eBay for, I don't know, maybe $50 to $60 each and see how they, how they work. They're already in the box, so I can just put a label right on it. Um, the last thing that I got, let's see if I can actually pull it over here, was... Um, an HP Office Jet 8500A Plus. Anyway, it's got the um, the printer itself, has the software, and then it has another extra ink cartridge. Um, and just that extra ink cartridge, I'll be able to sell for um, twenty four dollars on Amazon. Uh, they wanted twenty five for the printer and ten dollars for the ink cartridge, and I ended up paying twenty dollars for all of it because it was towards the end of the day. Uh, so I'll sell the ink cartridge, make my money back right there, and then I'll sell the um, what do you call it? I'll sell the printer itself um, for probably about 60 bucks on, on Craigslist because I don't want to ship it because it's pretty dangerous to ship. Uh, last big thing I got, I bought a, a Jeep. I think it's a Jeep Grand Cherokee spare tire. It's a Goodyear Wrangler with the alloy wheel on it. Um, and it had never been used to have all the little nubbies. It was only one because they said they traded in the other four when they bought new tires. So, but it was, I think I paid $10 for it, maybe 20 at the most, but I think I only paid 10 bucks. So just the tire itself is valuable and that wheel is valuable. So I'll put it on Craigslist for maybe, I don't know, 80 bucks and see if somebody wants to get that. Um, I think that was pretty much from the week. I didn't really calculate everything up, um, but it was a pretty good weekend, a lot of sales. It's that, that time of year. And, um, oh, and I just remembered um, that I also bought uh, two rock band sets. I didn't bring those inside either. But the rock band for the Xbox 360, um, one of the sets was complete with the guitar, the microphone, the pedal, um, the drums, the drumsticks, everything, and it was only 10 bucks. And I don't like to deal with those because they're big and they're hard to ship. But for 10 bucks, I can sell them on I sell them on Amazon for about 119.99, sometimes 124.99.
And uh, to ship it, it's usually about $15 to ship it, and I buy a box at the UPS store. It's 29 inches by 15 inches by 12 inches tall, and I, I usually pack it in there, and it's the perfect size for it. Um, you have to take the little end off of the um, guitar to fit it, but it's, it has a little push button that kind of pops out. And um, so each one of those sets, um, the other set didn't have a microphone, but I have a microphone that I picked up like at a dollar. Um, each one of those sets I'll make about probably $80 on after I pay fees and shipping and for the box. So um, it was worth doing and dealing with. Sometimes they might not work, but as cheap as I'm paying for it, um, you know, it was worth it. So anyway, now I'm done. I think that was the whole week. I haven't calculated it all up, but I would guess it's at least $1,000 in profit. Got another huge garage sale coming up. Um, next weekend, so hopefully I'll be able to have time to make another video for you. So anyway, um, go to GarageSaleCoach.com, pick up the ebook, and get the training videos if you're so inclined. I also have a free ebook there as well. And uh, send me any questions or comments. Uh, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel or whatever. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.